you've got cysteine to thank for that. The amino acid cysteine is abundant in keratin, which is abundant in our hair and our nails. And cysteine is, has this cool property where it can actually form these strong covalent crosslinks between cysteine residues at different places in a protein or between different proteins, such as between different strands of keratin in your hair. And depending on where they're positioned, when those bonds form, then you get curls or you get no curls. And by manipulating the cross links, you can actually do things like permanent waves, get permanent curls in hair. Let's back up a second. Cysteine, what's special about it? It's got this sulfur and this sulfur, it actually is able to get oxidized and form these cysteine cross links. So you have two cysteines. They both have these sulfur hanging out here. And now they join up through this covalent crosslink or this disulfide bond. Unlike most of the interactions between different parts of a protein, these are actually covalent bonds, which means they're really holding hands as opposed to just kind of like hanging out together, such as you would get with a hydrogen bond. So we've got these covalent crosslinks, these disulfide bonds forming between these two strands of keratin. And say the strands of keratin are like this, and so now the hair is kind of like curled. But if they were like that, then it would be straight. And so say you have straight hair and you want curly hair. What people can do is you can actually introduce a reducing agent. So a reducing agent is going to remove the cross links. And so like ammonium thioglycolate, it can remove those cross links. And now when those cross links are removed, the stylus can curl the hair around a curler. And now they add an oxidizing agent such as hydrogen peroxide that allows the cross links to form again. Those cross links form, but now they're forming in the, when the hair is in that curly shape. And so now when you remove the curlers, the hair stays like that because you've got these covalent cross links sturdifying it. We also get these covalent cross links sturdifying the keratin in our nails, as well as sturdifying things like antibodies that need to be able to travel through the bloodstream. Inside of our cell cell bar, most proteins don't have those cysteine crosslinks, so you've got a reducing environment inside of your cells thanks to things like glutathione that make it so that you don't get these crosslinks forming between like the wrong parts of proteins or between different proteins. And so the crosslinks are actually introduced in a very controlled manner. So cysteine is able to form those covalent crosslinks, those disulfide bonds. It and methionine are the two amino acids that have sulfur, but in methionine, that sulfur is kind of sandwiched between two carbons, whereas with cysteine, it's out at the end in thio groups that can then form crosslinks with one another. They can also get oxidized in other ways.